Hi everybody and welcome to Anything But. I'm uh, with the Royal College Sports Complex behind me and with McDonald's in front of me. I'm caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Uh, my guest today on the show is an amazing woman, one who is a child's rights activist and one who is a women's rights activist. She uh, is the founder chairperson of WIM, which is Women in Management, and uh, one who works tirelessly for the upliftment and the betterment of women and children. Sulo Chana Sigera, welcome to my show. Sulo, hi. Uh, before we talk about your work with WIM and about um, abused and raped women, tell me something about yourself. Uh, you went to school in Colombo. Yes, I was a shepherdian okay. and I was the second in my family, so I had an elder brother and a younger sister. The spoilt one, right? Uh, no, I was actually the black sheep, I would say, because oh. whole attention go to the elders okay. and whole love to go to the youngest. So you? So I was the middle, so I think my, I got very attached to my father, not to my mother, and I was not the lady of the house. It was never a me and still not me. Who is a lady? Tell me. Oh, what is the lady? Yeah, according to my family, the lady is because I speak loud, I laugh loud, I don't walk like a lady, I don't sit like a lady. <laughs> okay. uh, so, you know, lady is someone who's proper. I remember my mother was wanted to send me to a Finnish school okay. to teach me how to sit and stand and all that. And what do you say? So, she, I think I went for one or two days and they said, you take keep her home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, so, so what was school life like? Were you a tomboy? Were you a very studious girl or girly girl? What were you like? I was a tomboy. Uh, I enjoyed my school time. I had a good friends and still they are my friends because my sister also went to the same school. So she got good grades and she was like the school icon, right? Everyone respected her. Model student. Yeah. So and when she walks from uh, towards the class, she sees I, I've been punished. So she comes up and tells, oh, every day our kids get in punished. So it was like, you know, my mother hates to come to school for parents' teacher making. But after we left, she got the best results for her elevens in the school. But everyone knows she's my sister, okay. not that I'm I her sister. sister. Okay. So I said, that's how you make brands. Right. So you had a very early marriage at uh, 21 years. Yeah. And then you have two children, a son and a daughter. How was marriage and married life like? Uh, Kuma, I would say, you know, this is something very unique to Sri Lanka also. The moment I got friendly with a boy, my, my mother was the happiest because a boy really liked me. So oh, finally? She, finally. So they, she, she thought that's going to be never happen. So, so just after my year when I got the results and everything, she said, you have to get married. And, you know, you cannot say no to my mother. My father, you can but my mother, you cannot. So I got married by 21, by 25, I was having two kids. Your daughter and your son. My son and daughter. Son and daughter. But 27, everything went apart because I was too young, he was too young. And I would say, basically, I didn't know what's going on because I, was, I had everything. I had a good job, money, everything. But marriage is not about having everything, right? It's about more than that. Sulo, so you have been divorced, I think, for the past 15 years, if, I, if my maths is correct. How difficult or how easy is it to be a divorced woman, a single woman, in Colombo society? You know, I've been separated for five years, then the divorce okay. came. I would say it's a nightmare. Why a, is it a nightmare? I was very young when I was separated. You know, in the, the moment you, you, you go to a bank, you have, you know, single, separated, divorced or something. The moment you feel that you're separated or divorced, you get all the calls. And the way they look at it, like you are available, like you're someone else. I I have gone through like nothing. And I know when I wanted to do a business and this, this, this are known people, as shaken as, you know, if you take care of me, I know how to take care of you. So I was like, Wow, this is the world I'm going to step in. It has been very difficult. So uh, a single, divorced or separated woman is not a sex object. She's not. Yeah, but in Sri Lankan concept, I won't say no. Because I know, recently we had a funeral near to my house and I know that la lady was divorced. Same age as mine. My auntie came and you know that lady, she was wearing a deep neck. 
So I said, what's wrong? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she does. She's divorced. I said, yeah. She, I think she's not a good lady. I was like, <laughs> if she was married, if she had a deep neck, you won't talk like that. But because she's single, because she had a deep neck, you're finished. Oh, tough. So how did you pick up the threads of your life at 27 years with two children uh, and no husband and uh, come on this journey? Ah, uh, Kumar, that was my, one of my, I would say it was very difficult. I was attempt suicide for three times because... What? With your children? Yeah, because it was hard, Kumar. Because but there were two, how can you kill yourself with two children? No, because when no one is accepted, when no one is respected, and when no one is hearing your side, right? And when a divorce happens, it's always the woman's fault, you know? No one was supported me because no one was ready to, because I was a tomboy, I had a lot of friends, and you know, it's easy to accuse me. So, but that was my turning point when everything started. I, fortunately, I met someone who was able to listen to me. Then he said, you want to prove you were innocent? Then live your life. That was the only advice. Live your life, prove to your children, not to anyone. Yeah, it is you and your children. That's, That's where I stood up and it was difficult. It was, I gave up my job, I started my own and it was very difficult because my daughter was just, when I separated, just four years old. It was very difficult for me. So you fought that journey, you've, you've, you've come a long life and are you happy with who you are today and what you've achieved? Very much because I feel maybe with or without my knowledge, God made me who I am, not for me, for so many people. Voiceless women and voiceless children out there. There, because if, I, if that didn't happen to me, I wouldn't be there. Because why I speak to my, I know when a single mother's children, how much they get abused. Because you are divorced. Because you don't have a father. Parents teach a meeting, you don't accept you. I know what my children, so I don't want that to be happen to anyone. So all that has given uh, out of the negative has come a positive and one that has helped you to now form WIM, Women in Management, and to work tirelessly for the women and children of this country. So uh, thank you very much. We meet you in sequence uh, Y and Z, where we talk about WIM and the work she does for all those less fortunate, abused women and children in Sri Lanka.